hello everybody and welcome back to my channel this is Laura today what I'm gonna be making for y'all are some pecan chewies I do have a recipe on my channel right now it's an older recipe that I have I will link it for y'all up here in the cards this one we're gonna test it out using heavy cream one of y'all actually asked me if I had ever done that with pecan chewies and I never have we're gonna test that today here on my channel we like to keep it real here so if it doesn't work out well it doesn't work out but we're gonna go through it step by step hopefully they do work out because I love pecan chewies they're just one of my my favorite candies to have very popular here in the area where I live in Texas so they're always favored here in my household I am gonna list the recipe for you if it works out down below in the description box and any items that I may have used if you are new here welcome I hope that you are enjoying the content and consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a video if you're a regular here Thanks for spending time with me again today. I appreciate you. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the content, big thumbs up. Leave a comment that really helps me out on the channel. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump on into the video. All right, we're going to start this time by toasting the pecans. I have two cups of whole pecans. There's some pieces in there as well. I have the oven at 375. I'm gonna toast them just a little bit to bring out that flavor, the oils of the pecans. And then we will start cooking our sugar. This should just take about 10 minutes or so. Keep an eye on them. If you start to smell them, you really wanna give them a toss so that they don't burn. All right, so I'm gonna pop them in the oven. I'm just gonna be moving y'all around here. We're gonna keep it real today. Okay, here goes a half a cup of white sugar. I just have all my containers out here and everything today. And we're going to do a half a cup of brown sugar, packed brown sugar. Okay, here we go. Get that out of the way. I'm going to add one cup of light Cairo syrup. All right, we're going to turn on the stove to a medium heat. I have my thermometer set here where I can see it real well. And we're gonna use a wooden spoon for this. There's the oven reminding me of my pecans. And we're just gonna let these sugars melt. Don't bring it up too high, let it just melt kind of slowly. Don't get in a rush when doing this. And get the kids out of the kitchen for sure because when this melts, this is very, very hot and you can really get some very serious burns. So get the kids out of the kitchen. My pecans out and I'm gonna give them a little bit of a toss just so that they do not burn on us. Okay, put them back in for just a couple of minutes. Go and now we can check our sugar. We want this to reach 240 degrees, which is a softball stage. This first time around, it will probably reach that temperature pretty quickly. So you want to really keep an eye on it. Do not leave the kitchen while you're doing this. These are so much fun to make for people during the holidays. I think people get tired of cookies and, you know, the same old, same old. But I think a, a pecan chewy is always so good. Okay, this takes a few minutes. So I will be back and show you in different areas of the sugar how this gets to be the right temperature. All right, our pecans are ready. So I'm just gonna set them aside until we're ready to use them. You can actually smell these when they're ready. Okay, turn off the oven. And as you can see, they started to boil just a little bit. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the temperature. Let me move you a little bit closer. There you go. Okay, we're pretty much getting right up there to that softball stage. So I'm gonna show you exactly what this looks like. I have it at a medium heat, not too high. We are gonna get ready to add the butter, the milk, and the pecans, and then we're gonna bring it back up to that temperature and they will be done. Okay, and here we go with the butter. There we go. And we're gonna melt that. And of course, anytime you add something to it, the temperature will drop. I just take my time with this, guys. I really don't like to rush these things. If you're in a hurry, this is probably one recipe you want to avoid because that's when all the mess will begin. Okay, now I'm gonna add the milk. The vanilla goes last. And this kind of seizes up just a little bit. So 
you know, it bubbles up and it'll seize up on you just a little bit. But as the temperature warms up again, it'll melt that sugar back down. Okay, the butter's just about melted. See, we're back down to about 185. Okay, now we're gonna add the pecans. Now we're just going to let this go again until we reach the softball stage again and then they're ready. This is probably going to take a little while. It's probably going to take about 8 to 10 minutes. Because the pecans were not cold, uh, the temperature it maintained itself. Remember, we just took them out of the oven from toasting them a little bit. Okay. Okay, now we are going to add our salt. Just a little sprinkling of salt. It's a quarter teaspoon. If this starts to bubble too much for you, just lower the temperature just a little bit. These are gonna be so creamy, it seems like. Okay, we are at about 220 degrees here. I like to bring you back in stages so that you can see how the sugar is thickening up nicely. I did lower the temperature just a little bit. It was too vigorous. The bubbles were too much. I don't want it to bubble that hard. Just the way it is, like I said, and I will keep saying this don't be in a hurry when you're making this recipe take your time enjoy the process okay I'll be back in a few minutes okay here we are at 230 degrees see how, how nice and bubbly and you know how light the caramel starts to turn here almost there I just like for y'all to see the the process so you don't get lost what is it supposed to look like? Well, here you go. Okay, we're getting to that point. Look at that, how thick it is, how delicious it looks. We're almost there, just a couple more degrees. Of course, this is in Fahrenheit. I'm not sure how to convert it, but I'll try to look that up for you. Okay, we're just about there. One more little spot and we are there. I have to keep stirring this so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. We're at 240 degrees. I'm gonna turn off the heat and then we are gonna add our vanilla. And this is probably going to foam up a little bit when you add the vanilla, so just be careful. See how it foams up a little bit? Okay, I'm going to take out the thermometer so that it can start to drip. Put it in a bowl of water so it makes it easy to wash. I'm going to let this simmer down just a little bit without having the heat on. I'm going to let this relax for just a couple of minutes before I start to scoop it into my tray that I have over here with the parchment paper so that it can thicken up just a little bit so that my pralines don't spread so much. Alrighty guys, I decided to pop y'all on the counter so that you could see exactly how I scoop these out. Now I have, I poured one on here and I, and I'm able to touch it now so that I know it's not going to spread. I just get my cookie scooper and you got to be very careful. And I just scoop them onto the tray. Of course, it depends what size you want to make them. If you want to make them smaller, get the smaller scoop or use a spoon. That's totally up to you. Look at that. If you let your caramel cool for about five minutes, they won't spread as much. We're going to let these sit here and cool. You see how they spread? The first one spread because it was just a little bit too hot. I'm going to let this uh, set up and I will be back and we will give these a taste. I'm dying to try these. Alrighty guys, look at that. These have been setting up for a little while. I'm going to touch these with my hands because they're not going to be given away to anybody. They're going to stay here at my house. So, But look at that, how beautiful they are. Look at that. They probably still need to set up and firm a little bit longer, but I just wanted to show y'all. And if you're gonna give these away for gifts and stuff, there is some candy wrap, some, I think it's called acetate paper, but I have found these little bags that I get on Amazon. I'm gonna link them for y'all down below. 
and I like them because they have the self-adhesive strip right here. So I just put my candy in here and I drop it in and then just remove the little strip and fold it over and you're done. Look at that, how pretty that looks to give us gifts. And if you wanna make a label and put it on there, that would make a very nice gift. That's what I like to do for the holidays. This is how I like to present them on my table, same thing. You know, with all the germs going on nowadays, you don't want people touching things. This is a great idea to have for cookies and candy and all that. I just wanted to show you this. Now we're gonna go ahead and give these a taste. Okay, everybody, let's give these a taste. Look at that, how delicious. And I love pecans. So, and these are very soft, guys. I'm gonna actually show you. I'm gonna pull this one so you can see how they're not rock hard. You see how chewy that is? So let's give this a bite. Mmm. Mmm. So good. These are so good. They're so creamy. I like the ones with this heavy cream better than the ones with the whole milk. I mean, don't get me wrong. The ones with the milk are delicious, but these just give it a little bit more creaminess to them. They are delicious. I just, I, they're dangerous in my house right now. I'm gonna have to go give them to some neighbors or something because I'll eat the whole thing. They are so good, guys. I hope you give them a try. If you have any questions about the recipe, just ask me in the comments, and I always try to get back to you guys. Always try to contact me there or on Facebook when I post this video up on Facebook. Okay, guys, that's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I got to go dig up a recipe so we can get that going. All right, don't forget, thumbs up, and share with family and friends. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. One more bite. Chewy, chewy.